You reverse the inequality symbol. Okay, girls. You missed this. Do you remember when you reverse the inequality symbol? When? Less than or greater than or equal symbol. Not just dividing or multiplying. That that's one thing. You multiply or divide, adding it doesn't change anything. By what? what kind of a number? Negative. Some of you wanted to do it before that. <laughs> Also, Mariah, also, <laughs> girls, take one of these. You have to give one to her. I know, I was working on it. Have a seat, Ray. Ray, right here. Right up here. Thank you. Well, it won't take long. It's the same stick on Just a little bit more, that's all. Hey, Ray, have a seat. Okay, you reverse the inequality symbol when you multiply or add a negative number. Okay? What if I have this? Okay, you guys, David, not using computers or iPads. How did, if I wanted to put the three here, Rachel, and switch the three and the X, what would happen to the inequality symbol? Mariah, if you pay attention, math is so much easier. What? If you pay attention, math is so much easier. If this is like this and I switch the X and 3, is that going to stay the same or is it going to switch? Oh, I'm not going to multiply it. I just put the 3 here and the X there. This has to switch. Yes. Now, I prefer to see my inequalities written like that. So even when I solve and I get something like this, I'll switch it. Now, what does it mean to solve, by the way? If you substitute the values, if you solve it, you substitute the values in, what has to be true? Oh, thank you. So if I have x is greater than 3 and I put a number in there like 4, what has to be true? It would find, to solve means you want to find the numbers that make the sentence true. Can you give me another number that makes that true? Besides four? Yeah. Five, six, twelve, a whole bunch of them. I can't list them all, Henry. Can't possibly list them all. So I draw a picture. Now, I, am I going to include three on this? No, you don't have the extra little line there. And I want numbers that make it true, which is to the right. Cole, put your phone away. These are obvious. <laughs> okay, let's do some problems. I'll do one with you, and then, well, I may do them all, but I, I can walk around and help you. Well, there aren't that many, and then you have much more on the handout. Oh, uh, we're going to do a bunch of these. You should be able to do these. What do you do first? David, what do you do first to solve this? What? Because you just did something like this yesterday. You guys did this last year. Okay, Shh. Add, four. add four. Now, that's equal to four. Now, what's nice about math is it tells you what to do. Well, I can't add two of anything. That's pretty easy, Taylor. What does this give me? Zero. Nothing. I chose it that way. I could, I could add by whatever I want. Now, this is not going to change. What's a negative 2 and a 4? 2. Okay, Rachel? Then what do I do? Divide by what? 2. So x is less than or equal to what? Whole what? 1. Okay, do you remember how to graph this? Yeah. You start at 1. Do I get to close the circle or not? By the way, that circle is no bigger than any other point on the line. I make it bigger so you can see it's going to be closed there. Yes. Like what? No. 
Which numbers are smaller than one? Is two smaller than one? Not in my book. Now, all you gotta do is find one number on one side. So if zero is smaller than one, which it is, then all of these are smaller than one. It's called the boundary method. You're gonna see it in algebra two in two years. Boundary. You just test one side or the other, or you could find all sorts of numbers that make it true. But if one of these makes it true, all of them do. Okay, let's do another problem, ready? You should be writing this down. Where's your pencil? Do you need a pencil? Oh, I have lots of those. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna get Mariah a pencil, solve that one. Cole, get busy and solve it, put your phone away. That's three times now, Cole. <laughs> You're in playing with your phone. Okay, anybody else need a pencil? Should bring a pencil to class. These are mine. I buy them. Okay. We're not playing with iPads. What do we do here? Who wants to do this? Anybody want to do it? Julian, you want to come up and do it? We'll get you. I got a couple problems left. <laughs> you should all be doing this with him. And you got that right. That's right. And what's this give you? Well, that gives me negative three. Also. Yeah. No, I just didn't know if I switched it. Or not. No, when do you switch it? Jake, you know? When you multiply or divide by a negative number. And then did you graph it? Good. No, you don't switch it. Because we didn't divide by a negative or multiply by a negative, did we? Taylor, you should have this written down. And you may use these on your test, so why not have them? That's a, you're not gonna get that option next year. So X is greater than, oh, do we divide by negative though? Oh, what happens? We did divide by negative, I didn't see that. So what happened to that? So that switches, yeah, sorry. I didn't see the negative. <laughs> so X is less than one. So graph that. You're not gonna graph it? Eduardo, do you wanna graph it? Lalo. Then then we graph it. No. Where's the border? There you go. That's it. Okay, now the next one's a little trickier, but we're not ready yet. David, can you see? Because we divided by a negative right here, it's the two things, you guys. Henry had to ask you to leave then, even though you weren't here this morning. Guess what we did? We did 2.4. Okay, if we knew divide, that's one thing, and by a negative, that's two things. You always reverse it. Well, before we do the next one, I want to show you the easy way to do the next one. Okay, you guys? I don't like fractions. Do you like fractions? So you know what we're going to do? We are going to get rid of fractions. We're going to multiply every term by negative 4. Now, I have to do every single number that's up there. So this has to be multiplied by a negative 4. And this one by a negative 4. Now, what's going to happen to my negative 4s? They're going to just go away. And I'll be left with x. What's this going to give me? Two negatives make a 4 times 7. Anybody know? 28. 28. It's positive because a negative times a negative is a positive. So what did you like negative four times? This is a negative four. <laughs> I could, but I'll still be stuck with a negative. I don't want that negative either. I want the number in front of x to be a positive one. So I gotta do a negative there. 
Now, what happens to the 6 times 4? What's that going to give you? 24. Now, because we multiplied by a negative, what will happen to my inequality? What's going to happen to that? Stay the same or switch? You multiplied two things. You did a multiply and you did a negative. Switches. Now you should be able to solve that. Henry, what happens? What do I do next, Henry? No, it's adding. How do you undo adding? Subtract 28. Does that reverse the inequality? Yes. No. Only the multiplication division. That's it. And so what do I get for x? x is less than, I, I'm not going to make anything up. I'm going to do what it says, negative 4. So negative 4 is here. Do I get to include the negative 4? It would be wrong, though. So I'm not going to. Which way is smaller than negative 4, left or right? Left. So you see, I've done it a couple ways. I either can put points in or I can think of what numbers are smaller than negative 4. I like to clear fractions. You're eventually going to have to multiply by that negative 4. You can do it now or you do it later. It doesn't matter. Are we ready for the next one? Oh. We, have, we should graph them all. Do I have this? I think I have it here, don't I? I don't have the numbers, though. So what are you going to multiply number 1 by? Negative 2. Somebody want to try this one? I don't have a lot of space. Oh, goody, I can move it. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> that was a little fast. I'm going to slide these down so we have room. Yes. Somebody want to come up and do this? If it's greater than or equal to, that's colored in. Or less than or equal to, it's colored in. If it's just greater than, it's open, and if it's just less than, it's open. This has a little more pencil mark with it, if you want to think of it that way. It's just a little hint. Come on up. Try it. So try it. And multiply that out. What does that, what, what's this give you? Because you look like you're stuck. Well, then write it down. What does that say? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What does this say? Write a little bit bigger, but what does it say? What's a negative 2 times 3? Negative. Yeah. Plus. Those cancel. Cross them out. It's just X. This one's. So you're fine. You just have to stay out of the light. <laughs> Don't go to the light. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. You s why do we switch? I multiply by a negative, right? The two, there you go. So I try to avoid multiplying by negatives, but sometimes I can't, and I just have to do it. There you go. We won't graph these in a place for a graph. Jake, do you know what I'm going to do with the next one? I don't like that fraction. Let's get rid of it. I really have no choice but to get rid of it on this one. Okay, Mariah, do you want to try this one? Sure. Multiply by what? Well, 2 doesn't go into 3, does it? So what will 2 divide into? So it'll cancel. Yeah, so multiply by 2. But it has to be in the numerator, so it has to be up here. It has to be there, and then up there. Okay. You try it. Multiply by 2. But you have to do 2 times the negative 4. No, it's negative 8. Time. No, no, no. You cross the twos out. 
These are gone. So there's no two there, but you have to have a two where? Oh, it's right here. It's in here. Yes, but I was touching the board at the same time as you, so it's not going to show. There you go. And what are you still left with on the left side? Those are squirrels. Don't throw them in. <laughs> Whoa, we can't read that. No, it's not. Why would... But is that what it says? It doesn't say that. It says this. X minus 3 is greater than... Four. No, what did you say 2 times the negative 4 was? 6. Times. Eight. Negative 8. Negative 8. Right. Then what do you do to both sides? It's adding. You just do what it says. This is a number subtract 3. So to under subtracting 3, we add 3. Just do what it says. X is greater than what? Negative 5. Raise your hand. Lisa's here. She can help you if you're getting stuck. Okay, Mariah, you're going to need to work these out. Now, what are you going to do with the next one? This is this is not going to be a nice number. Sure, come on up. Oh, did Yolala want to do it? Oh, you want to see? He wants to see the other one. You want to slide it? No, it's not, it's not like an iPad, unfortunately. There it is, right here. Okay, come on up, Julian. Now try it. You're going to have to do what with that negative 2? Don't divide because then you're going to have fractions. Distribute. Multiply that out. Mariah, you need to be working. So multiply 3 by 6. Multiply top and bottom by 6. So that's at 5B. Then the 6 will cancel. Oh. So then, but it's uh, 6, it's in the numerator. So then it can, this is a No, you multiply this by 6 and this by 6. These cancel. Oh, okay, okay, that's right. Okay. There you go. So it's easy on the left. Now turn to x equal back to max number. Yeah, but don't forget your less than sign. Oh, but wait a minute. What happens? You're dividing by a negative. From the positive. Or it stays negative. It stays negative. Well, no, this is fine. But what happens to that? No, the inequality. It switches when you divide by a negative, so it's going to be greater than here. Okay. He's not finished, but it's what he has is correct. Ray, what are we going to do next? Divide by what? What kind of two? Well, let's just leave it as a fraction. Now, this becomes x. What does this do? Switches. All you have to remember is when you multiply or divide by a negative number, you have to reverse inequality. Now, I can write it this way. I could write 5 over negative 2, which is equal to negative 5 halves, which is equal to negative 5 over positive 2. They are all the same. You could do 2 and a half. You could do 2.5. I don't care. Well, that's what our worksheet is like today. Today, and the answers are up on Schoology, so you can check your work. You don't have to go to fractions, but I do think it's the easiest. And I should get the green one from you today. <laughs> no, those are your notes. Put them in a notebook so you can have them. Okay, so when you, uh, you switch here? Yes, when you divide by the negative, this will switch to that. Now, this is, yeah, negative 2.5. Okay. That would be right. The worksheets are also online, so if you are absent, because the rows are so weird. Okay, okay, you guys. The uh, the worksheets are also online, so if you're ever absent, you can do these. And I should get a green sheet from you. Nick, you have to do some math and turn it into me. Whoops. Oh, you don't get that. Yeah.
Okay, I'll have to rewrite it. <laughs> That's the problem. I corrected all a bunch of notes. Good. Let's do this. Okay. Let me stop this. So there you go. I need a green sheet from everybody.